Hi, Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. Thank you so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. If you want to win a free mini weekly reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video you enjoy, and leave me a comment. I will filter it by subscribers, and a lot of y'all's comments disappear. So um, it's very simple and it's free to subscribe. Now let's get into this thing here, you guys. I'm so excited for this because... You know, the channeled message box has no chill, right? But we got some 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 lovey, interesting messages. So let's get into this thing. We have, you know you're meant to be with me, okay? Somebody that wants to date you. And then we have inner healing here. So I wanted to know, and I clarified for the collective here, who is this person that you meant to be with? So this is interesting. We have... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and somebody's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? We also have Aries here. So with the King of Swords, this is somebody that is very direct, okay? Um, like when you are conversing with this person, they could be very direct, or this is somebody that is a communicator. So maybe they do something where they're speaking for a living, right? Or this is also someone that's in a leadership position. This is somebody that is fair. This is somebody that's ethical. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody in law enforcement, okay? This could be somebody that's military, ex-military for some of you. Um, this could be somebody that is a litigator. This is someone that could be proficient in the law, okay? Um, now the Queen of Pentacles here, this is somebody very well that um, they know how to be loving. They know how to be nurturing. Okay. They know how to be a provider um, or they know how to, you know, be supportive. Okay. This is somebody that is a helper. This is somebody um, that very well could have a business. Okay. Or they're in some type of management or leadership role. Okay. Um, this is somebody that knows how to manage finances as well. Okay. This is somebody that most likely is already abundant with the full card here and the lover's card in reverse. Um, I feel like this is somebody that doesn't just engage sexually with just anybody okay um i feel like this is somebody here that could even be afraid to be emotionally vulnerable but there is something about you and your connection in which they want to be vulnerable okay this could also be somebody that has let go or released a gemini okay um this is somebody here that's ready for a new beginning okay for some of you it could have even start it could even start off um, or it could have started off because for some of you, it's a past person. For some of you, it's a new person that you don't know yet. Um, or it could be somebody that you're already dating. So just take it how it resonates. Um, but this is somebody that's a closed, a major karmic cycle. Now, for some of you guys, this is somebody where maybe there's a lot of passion and chemistry. Okay. Maybe they've just broken up with somebody else. You know, maybe you guys, uh, have messed around in the past. Okay. For some of you. Or this, but this person is not interested in a sex only connection, okay? Period. With the four of cups here, <laughs> y'all, I'm laughing because look how she's looking at that cup, though. With the four of cups and the nine of cups, I feel like this is somebody that has a lot of people that's interested in them, okay? This is somebody here that is not interested in, um, they block a lot of people, okay? They don't just let anybody have access to their energy. They're not going to date just anybody, okay? Um, this is somebody that um, will, in fact, not be interested in anybody that is uh, selfish or arrogant, okay, or egotistical, okay? This is somebody here that could drink from time to time. Um, but what I'm seeing is that this person is going to see that your wish fulfillment. For some of you guys, this could have even been somebody that you stopped talking to or that you have rejected or that could have rejected you in the past. Um, with the five of wands here, though, I feel there are a lot of people that are interested in this person. So for some of you, this is like celebrity energy or this is the energy of someone where maybe they have some type of, you know, fan base. Like if they're a celebrity or they're an entertainer or maybe this somebody has a lot of followers or subscribers, right? Right? Or they just very well have a lot of people within a community um, that might even be ticked off at this person being into you, okay? Because for whatever reason, I feel like this person has a lot of people that are jealous or envious of them or that want to be with them, okay? Yeah, with the seven of wands here... <laughs> 
if this is a past person, some of y'all could have even blocked off this person or maybe your spiritual team put their ass on timeout or some shit. But what I'm seeing here is that this is somebody that will fight for your connection. They very well could have significant Aries Leo Sag and their energy with all these wands here. Okay, but I feel like this is somebody that's not going to be scared of competition okay this is somebody that knows their worth knows their value and if people want to fight baby they're gonna be down with it you feel me <laughs> that's what i'm seeing here because somebody is not going to want to let you go so they're not going to care what their friends their family things their co-workers you know whatever this is somebody that's going to you know if they didn't know that before at this point when you guys come together they're going to know that now does that make sense with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like this person has good luck, okay? This is somebody with the Seven of Pentacles. They know how to put the consistent work into a connection. This is somebody that is a builder, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Um, this is somebody that, for some of you, you could have already invested time and energy into this person in the past, or they did into you. Um, but for others of you, this is somebody that is, they very well could not be in a relationship at all, okay? Okay? Or they could have ended something with someone that they were with for a very long time or that they put a lot of energy into. Yeah, I keep telling you with the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like the person that you're meant to be with is, for a lot of you, they're single or they're abundant, okay? And they get a lot of attention. That's what I'm seeing here. For others of you, this person wants to be single and they're working on doing that, okay? So maybe some of you, they're going through a divorce or something of that. Um, this is somebody here that this is somebody that is a catalyst. This is somebody that's a motivator. Okay. This is somebody that's going to help you grow and expand, not just physically, but also spiritually. Okay. This is somebody here that is, um, animals like them. Okay. This is somebody that is a uh, revered. I'm hearing they're revered in multiple realms. So this is somebody that has some form of spiritual protection or some form of spiritual gifts. Okay. Um, this could also be somebody that's clairvoyant. Um, this could also be somebody that gets premonitions. So some of you guys are definitely, um, dealing with someone that's intuitive or the person that's meant to be with you, they are intuitive. Okay. Most likely, um, they're already being recognized w within their job setting or, or their community for something that they're contributing to help others. Okay. And they're also making a living off of it. With the eight of wands here, for some of y'all, there's somebody that you know through online, or you might watch them already online, or they watch you. Okay, with the Eight of Wands, this also could be somebody that's at a distance. So maybe this person travels for work or maybe this person, um, some of you, this person speaks multiple languages. Okay, um, with the Eight of Wands here, there's some type of communication here. And with the communication and the Devil card, somebody could very well, I don't know. It's like this could have even been somebody that's had obsessive communication with you in the past. Okay, so this one, this person here is like really fixated on you and what you're doing. Um, it's like you're like a secret passion or something of this person's, <laughs> y'all. What is what's going on? Yeah, I feel like this is could be even be somebody that's nervous or overthinking about communicating with you. Okay, for different reasons, right? With the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups reversed and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is someone you're currently dating, okay? Or for others of you, this is someone here that you've been, um, I don't know, this person knows for a fact that you're the one that they want. The Seven of Cups in Reverse is illusions down. They know you're not an option, okay? They want to offer love. You're the, you're the person that they want, period. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, they want this new beginning with you. Um, or it's a brand new person and it's not any of the options from your past. So you just take it as it resonates. But this is somebody here. This could even be somebody that is, you know, that you meet when you're traveling or that you meet when you move or relocate. Or this could be very well somebody here um, that 
for some of you, they might be a great communicator in their profession, but when it comes to their emotions, they might not be the best communicator. Does that make sense? Like maybe they could pop off sometimes or maybe they could fall off and not be as consistent. But this is somebody here, the person that you're meant to be with. With the Two of Swords, some of you, it's a new person that you have not met yet, okay? Um, for others of you with the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, this could be somebody that is moving or has moved. Um, this is somebody here that... Uh, some of y'all, this could be somebody from the past that you ignored. Now, don't come for me. <laughs> it's the person you meant to be with, okay? This is somebody that, that might enter your dream state somehow, okay? Y'all, wow, okay. With the magician here, this person is a master manifester, okay? So this person knows how uh, to speak life into things. They know how to make things grow, okay? That's Virgo, Gemini, Aries energy, with the Knight of Pentacles here, this is someone that consistently day in and days out, they're very consistent with their work, okay? So this is not a dusty energy that's lazy, that doesn't want to work. This is somebody that works day in and day out, okay? For some of you, they could even travel for work, okay? Or this is a person that likes to travel. They could have significant Sagittarius in their, uh, um, in their chart, or they could even have significant cancer in their chart as well. Um, I feel like for some of you, this is someone that, you know, could be traveling to see you. Or this could be somebody here um, that wants to take you out, period. Well, yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, someone definitely, um, you know, like let's say if somebody's going on tour, they're used to traveling, okay? Or somebody here could even do some form of driving for a living as well too with the eight of pentacles and the chariot um for for others of you this person is someone that could actually drive by and see you at your home or see you at your work with the chariot and the eight of pentacles y'all <laughs> i just got the craziest download with that y'all y'all somebody somebody already got the eye on you like for real for real some of y'all know this person and some of you you don't this person could be could be relocating to a different state or maybe they already did or maybe you did the star card here. Yeah, this person I'm trying to tell you they are in star energy. This person is of a higher vibration. They just don't let anybody get close to them, period. That's the truth with the ace of swords. For some of you, this is someone in a similar profession to you or this is somebody that wants to communicate. They want to collaborate and build with you, okay? I feel like a lot of people and a lot of dark entities are not going to want this union to come together. They could even have a crazy ass ex that's not going to want this com this uh, union to come together, y'all. Okay, ace of swords again. That's the truth, okay? I keep picking up on traveling. I don't know why. So the Hermit card here, this person spends a lot of time thinking about you. I feel like you are inspirational to this person. Um, maybe there's certain things that, you, I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you don't know this person. But for others of you, it is a past person. And you guys could even be on a break right now or not talking as much, okay? Or some of you, you're, you're going to be seeing them when you go home, okay? <laughs> So who's that for? Yeah, some of y'all, y'all just to be tuned in for the tea, huh? Yeah, some of y'all, this person's waiting to talk to you. Maybe they talk to you when they're, you know, I don't know, outside of their home or they talk to you when they're in bed or they look at you like on their phone or laptop when they're traveling. Like, who is this? We got the Ten of Cups here. This is someone that secretly wants a damn union, family, everything with you. Somebody here is nervous, though. Someone is wondering if you're going to really like like them when you get to know them. Um, I believe the answer is yes. It's like someone is afraid to open up here. But damn, with the Empress here, there's growth and expansion here. Some of you guys are pregnant with this person or you will be. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. I love this. Overall energy is the Queen of Coins. I'm trying to tell you this is someone that's stable and abundant. For some of you, this is somebody, though, that is ending things with a karmic third party to be with you. Or they're just um, going through some type of breakup or separation or getting a divorce from somebody else. And it doesn't have anything to do with you. They just know that they're already doing that when you meet them. Okay. Or they have gone through a divorce. Okay. So we have, you know, you're meant to be with me inner healing wants to date you i need to feel you next to me one more time so some of y'all definitely is a past person we have i don't want any other woman or man okay we have lump sum of money coming for the chosen ones yes cha-ching 
yeah somebody printed filed papers for a divorce y'all okay we got a brother here so maybe they're maybe they're african-american or uh maybe it's somebody's brother right <laughs> somebody is scared over the consequences for going against you we got a damn police chase here <laughs> what is this got somebody jamaican somebody contracted for, uh contacted from jail it says god is giving you back everything that they stole and more okay it says i'm sad knowing you might stop reaching out yeah and then we have somebody's family could be against the union um, or certain members within the family. But yeah, so that's who y'all are meant to be with. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Put me some hearts down below. I love you guys. Namaste.